Okay, I'm just doing another hopefully quick video here. Now, I'm sorry to be... If I'm being... Oh, this stupid thing has come up again. It's not what I'm trying to tell you about. It's just a driver update thing, which I'm trying to... Well, anyway, um... It's not been a good day today. First of all, there's that amplifier thing, and now I'm having computer problems. Now, um... Just move my TV out of the way so you can see what I've done here. Um, I'm trying to connect my computer to the my TV's HDMI. Now, the graphic card has a special thing on it where you can connect the SPDIF sound. And I'm just trying to move, put the camera to it so you can see it. There's a little socket somewhere. See where that yellow plug is connected? That's where my computer's SPDIF sound comes out. And I've connected that to apparently where you're supposed to connect the SPDIF to the graphic card. And um, the problem is, and I've just got to try and plug in the HDMI now. I'm trying to avoid getting my, my arms sliced by the two fans I've got here. I will be with you in a minute, it's just bugger to plug this thing in because when I have this plugged in I do not see the menu screens <coughs> or any of the stuff before Windows boots. Now, um, of course, plugging that in, the TV is switched directly to HDMI and um, I haven't enabled the HDMI output so I just have to switch this back to S video. Right, okay, so now we got the picture back and my remotes have fallen out of my battery I mean my batteries have fallen out of my remote again. We will have to find a cover for that. So now I'll just um enable the HDMI out. I will, I will get there in the end, it's just difficult to hold the camera and do this at the same time. Okay, I'll go to control panel and um, get the HDMI on, if I can just find it of course. Yeah, let's go to NVIDIA control panel. Set up multiple displays. some reason only clones available it doesn't dual view just seems to have disappeared now I don't know why that why that's happened but anyway we'll just apply that so the HDMI out will work so now we should be should have a picture through the HDMI now there we go so now I have a nice clear picture, but there is, now getting on to what I was telling you earlier, there's absolutely no sound. Yes, I'm having another sound problem now. Of course, another problem is that the bottom of the screen is half out of the picture, so it's difficult to see, or difficult to see what I've got here. Now if I play a video, I'll play a video to demonstrate that the sound does not seem to be working. I'll just play this one here. And I've got a fantastic picture. As you can hear. Now that's not supposed to be the sound that I'm hearing right now, just those little crackly noises. <laughs> supposed to be hearing what he's playing but so I don't actually know what's going on there if I switch back to the S video I can show you that the computer sound is actually working so I'm getting ordinary 
analog sound, so why the hell isn't the... Why am I just getting these weird noises through the, um... HDMI? It doesn't really make sense. There's a little thing here called Sound Max, which doesn't seem to do anything. I double click it and nothing happens. Nothing's appeared in there. I downloaded this thinking it was some drivers, but it's some stupid updater program that doesn't even work. We go into here, there is absolutely nothing that mentions SPDIF. Even if we go into advanced, that's just the um, standard mixer, which everybody sees. Uh, absolutely nothing in there if I go to advanced you just get speakers and performance so anyway does anybody know how to get this stupid SP diff to work so I can get sound when I have my computer playing through the HDMI that's what I want to know please 